All right, guys, welcome back. Carl again. Today, I want to talk about the LEDs came in. So, I ordered these on Monday morning about 8 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And today, Wednesday, they came from FedEx. Crazy. Three day shipping. So, I did notice from the shipping receipt that it came from New Jersey. So, New Jersey, I live here in Maryland, it's not too far. So, I've already opened them up, but I just want to go ahead and run through quickly how they come. So it came in this box. I had this tape on it, that, like a security tape. So we'll open that up. Okay, and then in the box is two other boxes. Uh, there's two LEDs in here. Inside of the box, you get a user's manual, if that's what you want to call it. It's like six pages of six pages of really nothing. And then you get this little card here. It says eBay on it. Now I didn't buy these off eBay. I actually got these off Facebook. So. It doesn't list the seller name or anything, but it must be what they're doing is, the guy I got it from and other sellers on eBay have gotten into with the wholesaler and they're just direct shipping them right from the warehouse, which must be in New Jersey. So I'm guessing that's how it works and that's why these little cards are prepackaged in there. So when you open it up, it's got some foam in it. It comes with a remote control, a decent, uh, power cord with a right angle cord and let's see looks like it says it's 300 volts at 3 go.75 millimeter squared that's what the impression impression says there and then you get these hangers with carabiners wire and then the screw on terminals Here's the bottom of the box, just kind of foam. And then here is the light. So this is the Ocean Revive T247. Has the display here at the end, it says Arctic T247. Uh, there's the IR sensor behind the glass and then it has a knob. You don't actually need the remote. I'm gonna mount them this way in the aquarium because I have a four foot aquarium and this is 16 inches. Okay, now for the inside shot. I went ahead and took all the screws out. Uh, here's the heat sink. It is a solid aluminum plate here. It's not very thick. And then you have these little heat adapters that are attached. And it does look like they're screwed down and there's definitely heat sink compound under these. Originally, I thought that this should have just been that way the whole way, but that's not how they did it. And in fact, the fan on this side, right here, these fans actually fit directly in here. So I guess, the theory is is that you pull air in through these and exhaust them out. So the heat sinks aren't super thick. Uh, hopefully they're adequate enough. You have the two fans which are very quiet even at 100% power. When you turn them on the the white channel the fans come on and they're super duper quiet. Really like that feature and then you have the just standard uh, driver boxes. These seem to be standard parts for all these Chinese LEDs. And then interestingly enough, it's got a very unique board here. There's actually another connector, which I'm not sure what it's for, but there's one there and one there. So I don't know if that's for external control pots or if that's for another channel. The LED channels have four wires and then these only have three terminals. So I'm not sure what that's about. Uh, there's a super cap there for the real-time clock. 32 kilohertz crystal and that's about it uh, they're really nice they have these modular plugs so you can really easily disassemble them uh, isolation washers under the screws here so I'm um, overall I'm pretty impressed with the build quality of this product remember this is built down to a price point and I didn't pay a lot of money for them so this is exactly what I was kind of expecting all right so what I'm going to do now is move over to the other side of the workbench and try to see what kind of signal is coming out of here because hopefully I can use my 0 to 10 volt controller and actually control this. So let me get you set up over there and I'll be right back with you. Okay, here's how I'm going to mount the LEDs. Cut two holes, top of the canopy. It's about 13 inches for me. So I've seen anywhere between 10 and 16 is where you want to mount it. So I just cut two holes. I'll bring you a 
closer up so you can see exactly how I did it. So there's the end view. It's about exactly as, as wide as that. And I left a uh, three quarter of an, of an inch on both sides in. So that way when I set this this way, we'll bring you around here, you'll see that I have about three quarters of an inch on both sides. And that's how it's gonna keep it suspended. So when I position it, I actually get perfect coverage with no gaps. And the reason why I did it that way is you can see there's this gap that's naturally around on both ends, but there's not much of a gap there. I wanted the ability not to obstruct any light, so that's how I did it. It looks really nice and it'll look very clean. All right, so I'm gonna get it back on the tank and I'll be back right back with you. Okay, so I got the lights uh, on top of the aquarium there. As you can see, you can barely make them out. Uh, in person, you can see the cords in about half the light. So I'll take you up there and get you a closer look. All right, so there you can see the uh, right one here, and I'll pull you over to the left one. See what they look like. Fit very nice. I went ahead and set the timers. Now everything is off. I'm going to start the blue channel, channel one, at about um, eight hours a day, and the whites at about six hours, and ramp it up from there. I started the blue at 60% and the white at 40%. And um, probably end up leaving the blue somewhere around there. I'm very happy with the color depth that it gives me. And I'm gonna try to see if I can figure out a way to manually turn them on just so I can see what they look like. Okay, so there it is, there they are on. I'm very happy with the results. Let me just bring you in. And I have a really nice shimmer as they refer to it as the snorkeling shimmer is very nice it's gonna be really hard to see right now the tanks a little wider than maybe I want so I might bring the blues up just a couple more but definitely very bright the other thing I'm interested to see is how does my heat do I was constantly running a fan uh, in the aquarium and then also in the canopy so I'm interested to see what happens with my results for the heat goes all right, let me open this door. All right, and I'll just bring you up here. So you can get a look at the lights from underneath. I know it's going to be really bright, but uh, you can make them out. Very nice. I'm very happy with the way that I was able to cut them in. Again, I was uh, talking about before, from the water line to the top of the canopy is about 13 inches. And that's literally with the tape measure on the top of the water. So the overall canopy height from the top of the aquarium is 12 inches. And I was, I, I've seen anywhere between, you mount them between 10 and 16 inches. So it's kind of a rough estimate. I didn't want to put them in the top here because there was be no place for them to ventilate out. Now there is the uh, fan that is in the uh, canopy. And there's actually this wire here is a temperature sensor that I installed for just the canopy. Uh, the other white wire is a temperature sensor for the aquarium water. So I'm interested to see over the next couple days, how does that actually do? Does this fan run a lot? Does it not run? Does the fan in the can uh, um, blowing over to some run? Does it not run a lot? So we'll see how it goes. Uh, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have to make some moonlights because pulling out the T5s, the loss of my moonlights. So I'm going to go from there. Uh, the only thing that, that's kind of interesting about the T247s is uh, there's no blue moonlights, which is kind of ironic because, you know, if we pan you up here, you can see there's that spot there in the middle and then along the middle in between the LEDs where it looks like they could put two or three moonlights. So there's re just really nice LCD display and it's very intuitive. There's a preview mode on it. Allows you to set the time, set channel one on, channel one off, channel two on, and channel two off. I'm not quite sure why they just didn't make this rampant. I'm kind of confused. But anyhow, look forward to that in a future video. I'm going to be integrating my Arduino into this system. Uh, the only thing else I think I'm going to do additionally is come up with like a strip, like a little small little fern strip or something around the edges just to keep the light centered so that they don't fall. As you can see, there's like a small crack, so it almost, that just needs to move up just the hair. And so, you know, just from normal course, I don't want to bump it. So I think I'll run just a small little piece of uh, wood just to hold it in place. 
but I am going to be uh, integrating an Arduino aquarium controller for ramp and LEDs and look forward to that in a future video and guys thanks again for watching go ahead and hit that like button down below if you have any comments questions ask them down below as well